Here we presents the top 5 best pellet grail smokers. Starting at number 5, Garmin Lily. Garmin's Lily smartwatch is another great looking option for women or those with smaller wrists. Its 1 inch face resembles the Vivimoves, with metallic colored dials and metal bezels, but it lacks the physical watch hands that Vivimoves have. The case isn't metal all the way around like on the Vivimoves, so aside from the bezel, you'll have a colored, fiber reinforced polymer case. Functionally, it's a simple device to navigate. Swiping horizontally from the main screen, you can see your notifications, the weather, and various health stats, like your current heart rate, body battery, blood oxygen saturation, and stress levels. Tapping into each gives you a broader context on how these have changed over time. Or, you can also view this and much more, including sleep and menstrual cycle tracking, in Garmin's Connect Companion app. You can initiate activity tracking sessions on the watch, including those for running, biking, swimming, strength training, cardio, elliptical training, stair stepping, yoga, pilates, and breathwork. All of those modes record heart rate and blood oxygen saturation, as well as calories burned and steps taken. Neither music storage nor GPS are built in though, so you'll need to have your phone with you, if you'd like tunes or route tracking on your runs, cycles, or swims. For more information and price, check out the product links in description. At number 4. Samsung Galaxy Watch 3. Somewhat unsurprisingly, Android device manufacturers have never really been able to come up with a wearable as seamless and supported as the Apple Watch. It's not all their fault. Google neglects its Wear OS platform, which was already playing catch-up. And that leaves watches powered by this further and further behind. Third-party developers have had little incentive to spend time and resources supporting Wear OS. On the Galaxy Watch 3, Tizen's a sharp, fun OS to use. Its strengths start with OS navigation, which uses a physical rotating watch bezel to scroll through lists, messages, apps, and information cards. Rotating it gives a satisfying tactile sensation, somewhere between a click and a bump, as the little spring-loaded metal ball bearings facilitate the movement and keep it in place. It's easy, and actually fun, to scroll around the watch in this way, rotating from card to card like you're flipping through swatches. Checking the weather, reading notifications, or looking in on your health and fitness stats is seamless. As for your day-to-day -day smartwatch needs, whether paired with a Galaxy, Android, or iPhone, the Galaxy Watch 3 delivers notifications from all your apps, and does so pleasantly and effectively. Halfway of my listed number 3. Garmin 4245. For those who trend less toward triathlete and more toward morning, afternoon, or weekend runner, Garmin's 4Runner 245 Music and 4Runner 45 may be good options to save some money. The 245 lacks an altimeter and loses support for more outdoorsy activity tracking, like skiing, mountain biking, hiking, kayaking, and open water swims. But the device still tracks the more basic activities the 745 does, including strength training, cardio, runs, swims, cycles, stair stepping, indoor rowing, and yoga. Better yet, the 245 keeps support for two of our favorite Garmin features, training effect training load and running dynamics. As mentioned, the training effect feature explains your training's impact on your aerobic and anaerobic fitness, while the training load helps you stay within the sweet spot for activity levels to maintain progress and avoid overtraining. Running Dynamics requires one of Garmin's chest strap heart rate monitors, but this tool offers insight on running form for efficiency and injury prevention. For more information and price, check out the product links in description. Coming in at number 2. Fitbit Versa 3. Not everyone is ready to spend $300 $400 in a smartwatch, even if it can be surprisingly useful accessories. Luckily, Fitbit Versa 3, which retails for $230, but can sometimes be found for less than $200, maximizes its value. This smartwatch isn't all that different from the top-of-the-line Fitbit Sense. They look identical, and the Versa 3 only loses the ECG sensor, and two others related to stress tracking, ETA and skin temperature. Those aren't devastating losses considering that the Versa 3 still has NFC, GPS, all-day heart monitoring, and nightly blood oxygen monitoring for while you sleep. The Versa 3 is a capable smartwatch that brings all your smartphone's notifications to your wrist. 
It houses a voice assistant, you can choose either Alexa or Google Assistant, and enables quick text replies on Android devices with either preloaded responses or dictation from the built-in mic. Both iPhone and Android users can take phone calls on their wrists, as there's a built-in speaker, as well. Plus, it is a Fitbit, so you have a waterproof design that tracks swims, runs, cycles, sleep, there are more than 20 activity tracking modes in total. And number 1. Apple Watch Series 6. The Apple Watch should be your first consideration when looking for a smartwatch, especially if you're an iPhone user. If it works standalone or with Android phones, it'd be hard not to recommend this for just about anyone looking for a smartwatch or fitness tracker. Even without LTE, Apple Watch Series 6 comes with GPS, a compass, always-on heart rate monitoring, an ECG sensor, an always-on altimeter, and constant blood oxygen monitoring. The accelerometer has even been updated to detect falls and alert emergency services and contacts. It can truly allow you to leave your phone at home, or at least in your pocket during the day-to-day -day minuti of checking notifications, responding to messages, and taking calls. These logged activities are more aimed at closing your activity rings, the broader emphasis being to do this consistently. The same goes for sleep tracking. While you can see duration and blood oxygen readings, the app pulls focus toward hitting your goal sleep time and your trends toward, or away, from doing so. You can track your VO2 max based on a hike, run, or brisk walk outdoors, and that's about as deep as health metrics get. If you're hoping to save a few bucks on an Apple Watch, you can sometimes catch modest sales, particularly around holidays. Or, if you're not in need of the always-on display, blood oxygen sensor, and ECG sensor, then you can save a few bucks with the Apple Watch SE. Lastly, there's the Apple Watch Series 3. It lacks the same sensors just mentioned in the SE's omissions, and it further loses the always-on altimeter, though intermittent altimeter readings are available. I have included these product link in the description. You can check out this link for more information and latest price. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like button. Share with your friends. And be sure to subscribe.